And God does know where you're coming from. And he does know, okay, you're getting rid of that habit little by little. But does he expect you to be a cursing Christian forever? No. You got to come out of that at some point. You got to change that at some point. You might be an alcoholic Christian. At some point, you have to change that. At some point, you have to be delivered and come out of that. How are you going to say you serve a God and God ain't delivered you? No. Mm -mm. He don't work like that. God delivered me from smoking weed. God delivered me from being somewhat of an alcoholic. Okay? God delivered me from... Pfft, I can talk about it. You bless me with these gifts. I'm not trying to lose it. I know I've been so still and sitting in it. Oh, yeah. You know I'm going through it. You say there's no excuse, just do it. All I know is I need you right now. Peace, love, light, wisdom, guidance, blessings, and discernment. Beautiful souls in this work. I don't know so we are not of this world. Cool baby there, you done know the thing already. I know I look crazy, y'all. Um, y'all, it's a Monday night, okay? And I typically don't clean on the weekdays I, unless it's Friday. I like to clean on Friday so that on Saturday, Sunday, when I have a weekend to just vibe and relax, okay, that I'm doing that in a clean house, amen? But listen, I couldn't get to clean this past weekend because I had family over and it was a lot going on. I had I was moving around too much. It was a lot happening. So I didn't get to really clean like I wanted to. But y'all, when it comes to my OCD, honey, listen, after my after work, I have I went to my next job, I had my clients, and after my clients, I said, I don't care how late it is, I need to clean. Amen. So, I'm finished. I am a little hungry and I'm eating. I do not eat this late either, but you know what? Your girl is hungry. <laughs> and I actually have a long, somewhat long day ahead of me tomorrow. Um, but however, speaking of cleaning, I just want to vibe with y'all really quick and just let you know how cleanly cleanliness is next to godliness, okay? So it's very important to keep, you know, your environment clean. Keep the space that God has blessed you with clean. Keep it tidy. Keep it decent. Keep it literally, just keep it clean. You understand? But let's go a little bit deeper, beloved. I, I know that, you know, when, when it was stated cleanliness is next to godliness, it wasn't just about your physical carnal environment although it's that too amen but it's we can go deeper and it's more so your heart a clean heart god can come into that amen okay so uh, not to say thank you holy spirit not to say god can't use a dirty heart right because he can and he will right but I'm talking about intimacy with the Lord. You can't really be intimate with God and know and learn his character and just be fully in his presence with a dirty heart. You cannot. Yes, will he use your dirty heart to see him for who he is? Yes, he will. But as far as getting intimate with him, getting into his presence, right? You can't, you, you, you won't be able to really do that to the fullest with having a dirty heart posture, uh, 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 you know, just a dirtiness in your mind, your mind and your heart and your spirit, you right, needs to be clean. God can come into that and he can reside in that. It's just like you going to someone's home and they're like, oh yeah, can you please stay with me for a couple of months? And you go into their home and it's dirty, okay? You're not going to want to stay there. And if, you, if you're if you like me, okay, my OCD is really OCD-y, y'all. Let me tell you something. I keep my, my the, the two places I feel like should be absolutely clean at all times is your kitchen and your bathroom in your house, right? And let me tell you something, y'all. I literally clean my bathroom and my kitchen and for example my bathroom sometimes i don't even sit on my toilet <laughs> y'all okay this is me being very transparent with y'all okay y'all know i'm real and all these things 
sometimes not because it's dirty but just because of me and my ocd and all of those things right so you know like it's like you go into somebody's house and it's dirty you're not gonna want to stay there you're not gonna want to reside there you're not gonna so it's the same way how do you think god feels like he wants to reside the scripture tells us that the holy spirit pretty much lives on the inside of us he dwells within us amen so why would holy spirit want to dwell in something that's dirty something that's not clean it's something that's not godly right and something that's not portraying who he is right so beloved i'm telling you to keep a clean heart keep a clean mind keep a clean spirit keep a clean body even your temple we all don't don't treat our bodies like we're, we should right in a perfect way we all don't do that but when you catch yourself make some changes make some boundaries for yourself create discipline for yourself right so when you do catch yourself make moves move according to the conviction because it's conviction it's the, it's the holy spirit convicting you which is why you're able to oh shoot i probably shouldn't be eating this oh shoot i probably should go work out oh shoot you know what i mean so when you get the conviction, move in that conviction, move according to that conviction, you understand? And at the same time, beloved, while you're keeping your 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 spirit, heart, mind clean, your mouth, keep your mouth clean. You should not be gossiping about nobody. You should not be cussing up a storm. Okay. I understand. Some of you are coming out of that, you know, habits of habits, right? And you may still curse here and there, right? But God and God may know where you're coming from. And he, not may, God does know where you're coming from. And he does know, okay, you're getting rid of that habit little by little. But does he expect you to be a cursing Christian forever? No, you got to come out of that at some point. You got to change that at some point. You might be a, a alcoholic Christian. At some point, you have to change that. At some point, you have to be delivered and come out of that. How are you going to say you serve a God and God ain't delivered you? No. Mm -mm. He don't work like that. God delivered me from smoking weed. God delivered me from being somewhat of an alcoholic. Okay. God delivered me from... I can talk about it. God delivered me from so many things. Okay. So, you know, you, you just got to like allow the conviction to happen and move according to it but don't 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 get it twisted it's not just your mind heart body soul mouth and your temple and your spirit that needs to be clean also your 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 environment your atmosphere your home where you reside where you lay your head that should be clean that should be clean and even at your workspace if you have a specific space that's yours at work that should be clean Wherever you go, your car should be clean, okay? God, a lot of times we get the blessings from God, house, car, man, woman, children. Your children should be clean. Bathe them. Make them look decent and nice. You understand? So, y'all, I was just cleaning on this good old Monday night, okay? And I just got this. Um, I don't even want to say revelation, but it might be to some of you, you know, um, but I just got this word and I just wanted to share with you. Cleansliness is next to godliness. If you want God all up in and around and near you, be clean internally and externally, wherever you go, whatever space, whatever kind of space you have, it should be clean. Okay. And do everything that you can to make it so make being clean internally and externally make it a priority when you make things in your life a priority you get it done because guess what we a lot of us like to say oh well you know i didn't have time to do that listen you have time to do what you want to do you make time to do what you want to do so anything that you say you didn't have time for is because you really did not want to do it so if you say oh i didn't have time to clean my house you, you really didn't want to do it because if you really wanted your house clean hence me tonight it's 11 o'clock. I have to wake up mad early on the horizon. And I'm like, I cannot go to my bed with my place being. And I, it wasn't dirty, but it wasn't what I needed it to be, too. Like, I smell pine salt and champagne toast candles and all. <laughs> you know? It wasn't what I know I, it can be. And now it is. 
And now, before I go to sleep, I'm about to go in my prayer corner and I'm about to invite God in and I'm about to just talk to my daddy and then he's going to cuddle me and put me to sleep. You know, so I just needed to share this with you guys. I love you so much. I pray that this was some type of revelation or confirmation to some of you. Because um, maybe God has already been speaking this to your spirit. And now you're just hearing the confirmation to move accordingly. Okay, so I love you. Big up on bless up yourself. All right. If you haven't tuned into the website yet, www.cb17visions with a Z at the end dot com. Listen, the podcast is starting back up. We will be finishing out season two and then we'll be jumping into season three. So you want want to make sure you stay tuned for all of that and anything else you can partner with us in any type of way on the website okay there's so many ways you can partner and network and just fellowship with us there and um just as we you know become a union in this one body of christ so i love you guys so much big up and bless up yourself make sure you're clean internally and outwardly. okay i love you good night